Hello viewers, this is Ryze. Welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun. Today we're going to fight a mini boss. Let's see if I can freeze him this time. Nope. I hit the button, but it didn't let me, so. Ah! You have to get it just perfect, otherwise you won't freeze him. There we go. And now shoot him as fast as you can. So I've been playing a lot of Leg uh, Legend of Zelda lately, and uh, I'm at the final dungeon, so. And uh, I've also noticed that I get my ass handed to me a lot in that game, so you can laugh at my suckageness. That's a weird word. There's no way that's an actual word. Anyway, uh, we'll just kill this guy and be done with it. Freeze will should... Yeah, it wore off. It'll usually last long enough to kill him, but not always. If you had some you know, MP left, go ahead and do it again. But, well, I can't. I, I can't afford to do that. Anyway, if you wanted to respawn that guy, you could... Just not pick up the serpent scales, he'd respawn. You could pick up... You could... Continuously kill him over and over again and get karma at a ridiculous rate. It's even better than the catacombs, but uh, I don't like that because first, personally I don't think it's necessary. And this place, very far away from any sort of healing point, so I don't like that. But that's me. Okay, we need invisibility for this. When we go down here, we need to cast Invisibility immediately on Kitsune, because she'll just get annihilated. I keep having to restart this episode, because she keeps dying! It's just freaking ridiculous. And for some reason, Invisibility sometimes will not work on these guys. I don't know why. That's the way it is. I'm gonna keep uh, Kitsune and Viz here and kill these guys. There's three of them. It's not easy. We're almost through this place. We're almost done. Okay, Kitsune, I said to invisibility yourself, not nobody. Cursor is very finicky in this game. should be able to take them one at a time. The problem is, is when they stun lock you. That's just very unfriendly. Okay. Have her cast invisibility. How's she doing on MP? Not good. She can cast heal once. I better not need to heal during the Drake fight. Okay. Good. Get the new in here and uh, keep going. Okay, before we go any further, I want to take a pause break here because uh, we're nearing the boss of this area and he is not easy. So, I don't want to screw this up. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and uh, there's one final gauntlet we have to go through. Uh, fortunately, this room, pretty easy. I wouldn't worry about it too much. There we go. Yeah, I really shouldn't have used invisibility so much. I should have shouldn't have used it on floor two. Not a good idea. Once you get to floor three, it's pretty much acquired. Okay, and uh the moment we go in here we want to go to our inventory. Because uh well, final boss, so let's do it. Can't wait to see Drake. Give me some stupid little lizard. Well, let's use the Jester Spirit on him. What? That didn't look like a lizard. What? The? What the hell is that? The? He's a freaking dragon! I don't think my gun's gonna work on him. Now, uh, 
There we go. Okay, I used it twice by mistake. I hope that doesn't cost me. But that'll reduce his HP to like 25%. Maybe a third or something, but it, it pretty much crushes his HP. He has a lot of HP. He takes a long time to kill. He has a lot of defense. But uh, our strategy is freeze him and shoot him. If you don't do it this way, you will not win. Oh, got him. Alright. He is very, very hard. Oddly enough, now if you shoot him, yeah. What the hell, game? Well, we didn't step on him, but we uh, did something to him, that's for sure. Okay, well. Yeah, I guess we only needed one free spell on him. Who's this guy? He's a scientist. Professor Pushkin? Huh. Well, Drake's dead. Anarchy? So Anarchy was the guy he was working for? I guess Drake, I guess Anarchy wasn't working for Drake. Just on the way around. So, what are they planning here? AI computer that can dominate the whole matrix. An evil corporation will take over the world! Nice going, Jericho. Stealing Shadowrun's plot. Bunch of jerks. Okay. Now, if you didn't have the Drake keyword, <laughs> I think you'd be screwed. Was that it? I think there was something we were supposed to... Oh yeah, we're supposed to ask him about... Head computer, yeah. So, Jake had... Okay, if you're a little lost, basically Jake was meant to be the courier for this anti-AI virus. Then he was supposed to install it. But, uh, essentially that couldn't happen because, uh, well, the gang killed him, supposedly. And Kitsune saved him, who was sent by the dog spirit to save him. Which is Jake's guiding spirit. And, uh... Yeah, and basically Drake has been trying to kill you the whole game to prevent you from finding out you had this virus. And, uh, well, that's basically it. Drake was uh, hired by Anarchy to kill you. To kill Jake, so. That's basically the plot line. It's, uh, you can fill in the holes. And, uh, this is where the game really makes sure that you filled them all in correctly. So. Once you do that, you're automatically taken out of here. Oh, the cortex bomb that was installed in your head was meant for uh, protection in case you was ever find out something, so that they could never get the information about the virus. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's the whole plot line. Are you confused? Huh, we're a little short on New Year. So uh, I'm going to have to do the Vladimir trick one more time. Because uh, we're going to be buying new equipment for the final top. And then we're going to head for the final area of the game. Oh, God. Oh, good. I was going to say, if Kitsune died now, I would be pissed. Okay, well, let's just fast forward to the, to the end here. Okay, there we go. And, uh, then I will meet you at the Dark Blades, and I'll show you what you need to buy. Okay, now what you need to buy here is, I think it's this one, the Enfield AS-7 Assault Cannon, the best gun in the game. It has an attack power of 20, quite ridiculous. I think it's accuracy is 3, but, uh, I'll look it up later. 
and not the Uzi, and the full body suit, which is the ultimate armor in the game, has one more defense point than the one we currently have. And that's the level 4 armor, why it's available now, I don't know. But, uh, so we need 40,000 for the gun, 30,000 for the armor, and uh, I'm going to be doing the Vladimir trick one more time to get the money we need, and uh, I'll have that equipment, and then I'll guide you from here to the Anarchy building. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Shadowrun. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys.